Hello everyone, SP here. Now, what is today? We have a game on Rainmaker Sturgeon, and we're watching the T-Tech. Uh, the most notable thing here, like, your comp doesn't really matter all too much. What matters here is the enemy comp. That is triple backline. Now, triple backline and triple anchor is not that hard to deal with, but if you don't know how to deal with it, it will just destroy you. So, you need to be playing into your displacement. Backlines do not work, react well to displacement. They have to... they can't do anything once they're displaced, and it might take them a while for them to actually be useful once they're displaced. So, I'm going to start the game, and what this T-Tech needs to do is they need to be playing around the strikes. They need to be popping them at those backlines, and they need to make sure they're displaced. Once they're displaced, they can rush in. Now let's see if, now let's see if this T-Tech actually does that. Uh, do they? Not really. And they get sniped. <laughs> yeah, your team's kind of folding. I'm also going to say you don't really need to go and snipe as a T-Tech. You're too short range to actually use it. The blob can go there because they have a considerable amount of range from that position, but not you. I'd suggest going left or right. Anyways, you're a bit too far up. You need to be painting. You're, you don't really realize that you should be playing around with your uh, strikes. And you get deleted! Wow, okay, that was a nice shot. Now, anyways. Go in. Paint around a bit. Go into a different path, I guess. Yeah, it's fine if you... It's good to think, like, hey, it didn't work when I pushed like this. I'll try pushing from a different way. You're getting wailed, though. There we go. You survived, though. That's neat. You're close to your special. It seems like you can go up here. Are you gonna pop? No, you hurt someone. Hmm, that's not good. You heard him, you were prepared, but just folded. That happens. Now, they br they got through the checkpoint. Let's see what happens now. You're pretty close to your special. Are you going to get it? Hmm, okay, good. You didn't die. You did not die. That was good. That was good. You can still push up. You can still push up. Unless, yeah. Okay. Luckily, though, there's two down. You know where this... I think you know where the Hydra is? Yeah, I hear him. There we go, now you got him. There you go. Got yourself into a weird spot. They couldn't really hit you all too well. And you got him. Push this guy back. That's far enough. I mean... No, you probably don't want to push this, but eh, sure, fine. That's fine. I can hear the leader, don't you? Yeah, okay, good, good. You notice the leader. I heard the leader for a little bit. You pop that, leader dies, but still, you can just try and push more territory at this. I'd say try- mmm, that's not good. You probably- I don't- I'm not gonna say what you did was necessarily wrong, but you pro- it would have been a good idea to throw in a bomb at the Haymaker. Even still, I could probably only save with hindsight. Anyways, you know someone's around here. Uh. Can you get help from team? You're getting help from your team. You're fine. But you're, the rest of your team kind of folded. You need to see what happened on the left. There's someone at snipe. There's probably someone at snipe. There's always someone at snipe at this comp. It's a stringer. And you sharked at mid, so you didn't really get anything done. But you're trying to collect information, but you took a bit too long. Anyways, now you're in a kind of weird fight. Mm, do you win this? Okay, there we go. You win this. Now, you have your special. You have your displacement tool. You pop it. One of them goes into a really weird place, and only one of them was actually useful. The other one was good. The other other missile was good, but just the other two kind of just sucked. One, I think the first one missed and hit a wall, and the third one was used to cancel a bomb. Yeah, your team is kind of just folding just because they're all trying to run into the uh, backlines, which isn't isn't how you do things. Like, mm. Yeah, so we we're seeing what happens when you try to get in, go into your normal positions that you might go as a in a normal game as a slayer, and they're just not working. They're just getting pre-fired, and they're just and you're just not able to go in. Here you you go, you're able to like kill the rainmaker because the rainmaker had to push in. They didn't have to, but they felt like they had to. But still, you punish him for pushing in, as you should. Anyways, I really hope they don't go that way. Because we did see some backlines hit. Okay, they fell off the map. That's fine, that's fine. They reset. There you go. You don't die to that. That's good. You can bomb and you can push. Yeah, there you go. You do it. And they're off. That's good. 
But now you just need to not die. Oh no, there's more. You need to do more than that, actually. Can you get your special? You do. But now you're being shot at. Just wait for the bombardment to end. I also want to point out, if people are shooting you, like if you have like three people or two people, we had two people at that time shooting you. That meant that means there's two people not shooting at the rest of your team. And because there's two people shooting at your team or two people shooting at you, that meant that there was less people focused on uh, your team than on you, All right? Proportionally. What I want to say though is it is the, I was originally not gonna do this one. Because I was like, eh, this is kind of a meme. But I'm also realizing this, if you don't know how to deal with this, it is very likely you're going to lose. So I'm just going to recap. In order to be triple backline, or double backline in general, this works for triple backline, quad backline, and double backline. You need to make sure you have you playing around your displacement specials. Displacement specials are the specials that make the enemy move. Those are, the, the, those are like whale... Tenta missiles, tri strike, booyah. Uh, what else? What else? Crab can also be considered one. Zuga, kind of, but not really. Uh, wave breaker, but that's not super useful in this situation. The main ones are whale, missile, strike, uh, and booyah. You need to be playing around those. You need to make sure that the backlines are displaced. And once they are displaced, if you're like a short range shooter, short range weapon. You need to push fast and push hard. Emphasis on fast. If you don't push fast, then you're going to give the enemy too much time to set up. So, and if you give them too much time to set up, they'll just force you out. What I want to describe what was, hap what was happening is it felt like you were just trying to ram your head into a brick wall. That's not how you break a wall. You break a wall by blowing it up. And you have the tools to do that. You just didn't realize it. So, next time you fight triple backline, make sure to play around your specials. Make a move, and then you push up. With that out, with that out of the way, though. See y'all.